Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today I am in San Luis Obismo or SLO, California, outside SLO Barbecue or Old St. Louis Barbecue uh, Company. So here we are today to do their Pit Master Pride Challenge. This is a big barbecue platter uh, made to feed like upwards of six people. We have their signature Santa Maria style tri-tip. We have their chicken breast. We have a locally made Portuguese style sausage, which has a bit of spice to it, I've heard. We also have their coleslaw. It's a big thing of their apple and cucumber kind of coleslaw. It's a really interesting signature dish, jalapenos in there. We have some of their corn pie. Yes, corn pie, which I guess is kind of like a uh, mix between a casserole and a cornbread, so that looks really interesting. Again, a very signature item. We then have their fresh cut french fries, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're not familiar, kind of this part of uh, Santa Maria area, this kind of style of barbecue, it's all cooked over oak. We're talking all grilled over oak. That's kind of a real signature thing for the area. Generally served with a pico de gallo and a barbecue sauce. So like I said, it's a really cool and interesting style of barbecue, and all of this, again, is cooked kind of over that oak, that signature style. So I'm super excited to come on in and try this challenge. If we complete it, we get the meal for free in the 60 minute time limit. And we also get a free sweet t-shirt. And if we fail, I think we're looking about 80 bucks. So like I said, it's a lot, a lot of food. Made a few upwards of six people. Um, but yeah, I'm pumped. I love barbecue. This looks really good. It smells really good. I smell that wood, guys. I love that wood kind of style of barbecue. But yeah, so super excited to be up in this area. This is actually the furthest north in California I've ever been to date. We're heading further north after. But in the meantime, let us get a rockin', let's get a rollin', let's go in and have fun with these food, and uh, I'm excited guys. So undefeated barbecue challenge, really cool coastal part of California. Let's go in, let's have some fun. All right, so here I with the challenge, definitely a lot of food. So we have the tri-tip, we have the chicken, which looks delicious, I can smell that wood, that's uh, grilled flavors. We have their, again, corn casserole. This looks really interesting. It's kind of like, it's really thick and dense. It's uh. It smells really good though, jalapeno cheddar in there, and then the sausage, the fries, the big loaf of garlic bread, and then the uh, thing of coleslaw. So like we said, one hour uh, was pretty much it. So it looks delicious, smells good. I have the um, signature pico, and I have the signature barbecue sauce here on the side. Not required for the challenge, but here for my own preference and enjoyment. And then of course I got a little bit of ketchup because why not? So like I said, 60 minutes, let's get started here just momentarily. One hour, uh, where am I gonna start? I don't know. Maybe some of this uh, chicken looks very, very delicious. So, and we're gonna go the sauces, the pico, and all that good stuff. So, how do we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Chicken. Definitely get that grill flavor. Nice bit of salt. Try the barbecue sauce. Mm. Really nice sauce. That's great. Really good flavor. And like I said, this area is kind of known for this. Hey everyone, welcome to the Today we are in San Luis Obispo, California, taking on a large barbecue challenge. So here we are with the Pitmaster challenge, and let us just say, it's a lot of food. Now, if you're not familiar, I think what is a like key or a really interesting point to identify is the different styles of barbecue. So this Santa Maria style barbecue, what they call it, originated from kind of um, a lot of Mexican workers or um, more or less like cowboys and individuals working out in fields to which how did they cook their food? Well they had a piece of beef or a piece of chicken, they cooked over a wood fire and then they ate it with a pico de gallo and or a kind of very simple basic barbecue sauce. So that history has translated into a standard of Santa Maria style barbecue, such as what we see in front of us today. About a minute 45 and there's a lot of meat here. So this is not like a smoked barbecue, like a Texas style. This is a legit more like backyard style barbecue, whereas everything is cooked over fire. Um, they do the tri-tip, which is a, essentially like a big steak or a roast, you could call it. And then of course the chicken, the sausage. I mean, arguably they could cook whatever, but the tri-tip and chicken 
are definitely two kind of Santa Maria barbecue staples. Very good. Next, we'll move on to the tri-tip. So as we mentioned, we did have 60 minutes to complete the challenge to get the meal for free and the t-shirt. Um, but what I thought was really cool and what I liked about this style of barbecue is having items like that pico. And Old SLO had a really, really delicious pico here. They had a really nice sauce. Again, I call them super basic sauces. I'd say it's just like kind of ketchup, brown sugar, a little bit of vinegar. So I guess the traditional way to kind of also eat this tri-tip is actually with some of the pico. So. Try to get a bite like that together. Mm. Nice combo. But the basic sauces in the pico just go really well with the meats. It really uh, ensures that you still taste the meats, have the flavors. Um, and then of course they had so many other cool items here like that corn cake there I wanted to try. And I was hoping I'd also get to try the coleslaw as well. Love that grill taste on that steak. Also try the barbecue sauce. The place also had a large variety of different beers um, as well. Um, I did not partake, I'm not a big drinker, but I will say I was definitely enjoying all this food. Um, if you do want to uh, try the challenge out, you pretty much can just come on by. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Like I said, a definitely a really nice barbecue challenge, definitely a big, big barbecue challenge. Something about that woody taste and that sweetness of that barbecue sauce. I'm curious though, would you rather have cornbread or coleslaw as a side? Give me a hashtag corn or a hashtag coal down below. It's a cool combo with the pico. I just love the flavor of the pico in general. And at that everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Right, we're coming on about five minutes in. All right, making our way through it. I'm excited to try these sausages, they look really nice as well. Whoa! They got some spice to them. Really nice flavor. That is so fantastic though. I'm really looking forward to that, but. Yeah, a little bit of the kick. All right, this is the last of the tri-tip. <sighs> Great seasoning. And like I said, with that barbecue sauce, really, really nice. Now let's get through the sausage. Amazing flavors. Got some cumin in there. Try that sauce with this pico. Another great combo. I just love that freshness. Well, let's go try this coleslaw. Oh wow, that is super unique. You got that cucumber, that green apple. Really fresh, not overly acidic, very, very fresh. We're about 10 and a half minutes in. Woo. 
a lot of food make way through it. Like I said, lots of meats on here. Definitely get your money's worth if you order this just like a family platter. I do some ketchup here. I'll probably get into the french fries next. Fresh cut french fry. Mm. Yeah. Simplicity is best, guys. Skin on it. Perfect little bit of bite. Guys, that is a perfect french fry. It's kind of like a... With a little bit of like ketchup. Reminds me of like the perfect bag fry, you know what I'm saying? This is delicious. I'm excited to try this corn pie. Because I've never had anything like that before. I mean, this garlic bread looks really good too. There's a load of garlic on it. You, you actually see it. We're about 14 and a half in. Garlic bread, corn pie. Let me try this garlic bread. Does it look like the garlic on here? It looks freaking awesome. Woo! That is a hearty sourdough. Really nice though. And that grill flavor, I know it's coming from a place just down the street. Man, look at all that garlic, this is awesome. I love the strong garlic taste. Your breath might smell a little wonky after, but it's well worth it. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Hey, it's more pico. This is really good with the garlic breath. Hey everyone, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for not skipping through the video. So now let's play a joke on the skippers. Let's comment down below, hey Joel, nice speedo. Or, Joel, I didn't know you had a speedo. Something along those lines, have fun with it. And that way anybody who has skipped through the video and or only read the comments will have to come back and try to find a point in the video where I'm wearing a speedo. So like I said, comment down below and thank you. Everybody, we're at 19 minutes in down to this corn pie. So super creamy, super, super cheesy looking jalapeno. Woo! Damn, that is good. Holy crap. Thank you. Guys, it's like super creamy. It's like cream corn. Amazing flavor. Mm. It's like a like a cornbread on crack. That is amazing. Mm. It's so moist. I didn't know what to expect, but this is bomb. That 
That was awesome. Get this last bite. Leave no doubt. And we are finished there. Probably about, I don't know, 21 minutes, 20 seconds, something like that, guys. That was really, really, really enjoyable. It is like such a different style of barbecue than like I'm used to, like it's different than Texas style. I really like the style. The tri-tip, the chicken, everything cooked in that wood is just fantastic. Those Portuguese sausages were really, really awesome. Super unique. So much cumin, such a nice heat spice to them. Not just like spicy spice, but spice duh. You know what I'm saying? Great flavor. That corn pie was crazy. I've never had anything like it. So moist, so rich. I definitely would recommend. Um, the baby agrees with me. Um, but that, guys, like I said, really cool. So if I would do get the challenge for free, let's get a sweet t-shirt. Um, well, that's about that, guys. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, if you're ever in the area, definitely stop on by Old Slow Barbecue Co. Um, they have two locations. This is the original, and they have one other one just pretty uh, close by. Um, but yeah, not that I recommend trying this challenge because I don't do that. I have a disclaimer. But if you want to, you can, and you don't have to call in advance or anything. You can just show up. But what I would recommend is come on by. You can feed your family with this. It's available as like a family platter. You can order it like, I don't know, four, five, six people. This will definitely feed you. I'll tell you that much. Like even just a, one slice, one slice of that corn cake will fill you up. That stuff is dense and heavy, but super enjoyable. Like I said, I've never had anything like that. So that I want, like I said, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody here. And uh, that's about that, guys. So of course, the next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it. I like it. So that, guys. Just have a love of that. And here's the shirt. So it says St. Louis Barbecue Company on the back. And the signature one, which is on the side, for only if you complete the challenge, honorary pit master, guys. So I like it. I'm an honorary pit master now. And yeah, what a great place. Really enjoyed it. The staff here have been awesome. And uh, really good food. Like I said, no complaints. Until next time, though. Like I already said that, so yeah. Anyway, there you go. We showed you the t-shirt. Good stuff.